Hello there, I'm Kay Burley, reporting for Sky News. We have an important Sky News exclusive. We head now to Studio One at Sky Academy Skill Studios. Nowadays, many of our green areas are being chopped down and replaced with gas and electric plants, which is ruining our environment. Hi, my name is Charlie. Hi, my name is Mina, and welcome to Sky News. Today we are going to be talking about fossil fuels. In 2013, UK homes used 2.7 million tonnes of oil and 29.2 million tonnes of gas. Fossil fuels are, also, are used to heat up homes and power cars, planes and electricity plants, but we, can, but we only have approximately 50 years of fossil fuels remaining. This means we need to start looking to the future. Take Will I Am, for example. He is very passionate about his electric car company. Wind turbines and solar panels can also be used to power many things. For example, solar panels are used to save electric electricity in people's homes. In 2013, over 2 million new cars were registered, which is a 10.8% increase from the year before. The government is also trying to reward electric car buyers by giving them some money off their purchases. Later on, we'll be speaking to MPs and local residents. We will also be speaking to a representative from British Gas as well as a historian. But for now, we hand over to Jaden, who's live from Croydon. Thank you, Charlie and my Nina. Hi, my name is Jaden, and I am the best news reporter. But that's not what I'm talking about today. We are here in Croydon. We are talking about fossil fuels. Many local councils have started turning off streetlights to save the money. The UK government pays for large renewable energy projects to reduce fossil fuel use. However, this can increase the amount that households pay for the electricity bills. Right now, I am joined by a local resident, Aaliyah, and we also have a, lo a, lo a local council, a MP, Tia. Yeah. So, Aaliyah, your MP has decided to turn off the streetlights at 10.30 every night. How has this affected you? I hate what is going on with the lights because it is so dangerous. If you are walking on the streets now, you could easily get robbed because it is so dark. And I used to like going out to parties, but I can't because these MPs have given us a blackout. What is your view on what, what you are doing, Taylor? While the world is overpopulating, people are buying more cars using more electricity and they are using up our fossil fuels. By me turning off the streetlights, it saves more energy and in turn saves us more money. You'll thank me in the future, Aaliyah. Thank you for what? Cars are knocking people over because they can't see them walking in the street. It's crazy. Well, they called Albert Einstein crazy and he turned out to be a genius. You're no genius, hun. Right now, we are going to have to end it here. We are now passing over to George. Thank you, Talon. Good morning. My name is George, and in today's report, we will be discussing fossil fuels and the importance of keeping our planet green. Did you know that on average, wasted energy costs our household around £325 a year? So how can we reduce our carbon footprint? There is more carbon dioxide in the, in the air now than in the last 650,000 years. Energy is the most often wasted in, in the home through windows being left open by leaving televisions on and computers on standby, and by leaving lights on. Joining me today, I have Dr. Rian and Miss Lily, who is the manager of British Gas. So Dr. Rian, what were global temperatures like before the Industrial Revolution? Well, they were a lot lower because back then we didn't use cars, which is petrol, which causes global warming. And Miss Lily, what is more important, money or a natural world? Money is more important as it will help our community, gr our company grow and millions of customers rely on us. And a question for you both. Are there more renewable sources we can use instead of gas? Um, I believe that there are, such as wind turbines, which use a much greener energy of the wind. There are renewable sources. But for instance, as Ms. Rian said, um, wind turbines are useful but when it's a windy day. For instance, if it was not a windy day, it would it would be not useful to us at all as it would not help us create energy. Okay, thank you both for joining me on the show. Unfortunately, that is all the time we have left for today. Join me next week. Goodbye. 
Thanks to the team at Sky Academy Skills Studios, that's the end of our special report. I'm Kay Burley. Thank you for watching.